Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to our virtual year six opening evening. My name is Steve Campbell. I'm the principal of North Gosford Academy. I've worked at the school for about 18 years now. And it's my job tonight to talk to you about our wonderful school and to help you make one of the most uh, important decisions that you, you have to make with regards to your children. Now, I'm really sad about not having a normal opening evening, although to be honest with the monsoon rains tonight, maybe maybe it's a blessing for some of you, but uh, normally when it's on physically here, it's a, a really busy, bustling, fun evening with hundreds of visitors and it's largely led by our amazing students. Uh, we normally have yes, six students making things in DT, making sculptures and art, uh, cooking food tech, uh, playing sport, writing poetry, and it's a real energetic evening. And it's the children actually who help sell school, of course. Uh, unfortunately, we know why this can't happen. Uh, I don't want to spend too long talking about COVID, but you need to know the schools took really taking really robust measures and invest a lot of time and money to make sure the students are safe and can focus on education. Touch wood, we've had no confirmed cases, students and staff, uh, but every school will have to deal with this at some point. Uh, we have a detailed 30 page parental booklet about this on our website, which you can have a read if you want more information about control and measures. But let's hope by this time next September, it's a thing of the past. So I'm speaking to the students now. So I'm speaking to all the year six students who are sitting uh, in front of the TV or, or phones, laptops, devices. We're sorry that you couldn't join us this evening. Apologies. But I will make you this offer. Uh, if you'd like to come and visit the school during the day, I'm, I'm still allowed to take parents and students around the, the site within your family bubble. The parents will have to wear masks, uh, but I can show you a lot more of the school. I can personally uh, answer you questions and uh, we can look into classrooms. We can't actually go into them because of the restrictions, but they'll get a feel of the school. Also, in terms of questions, just let you know there is a, a, a chat function in Teams, so you can uh, write away any questions. We've got a, a member of the SLT sitting there who can answer them live, or if it takes more detailed response, then we can, we can email later through an email address we'll put at the end of the presentation. So I'm going to come again and speak in a minute, but I'd like to introduce a few really important people in, in the school. So first, I'd like to introduce Helen Tully, who's my deputy. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Helen Tully, the deputy principal, and like Mr. Campbell, I too have been at the school for many years. In fact, um, I may well have taught a number of the parents who are tuning in this evening. Um, I'm involved in many aspects of the school life, but my main areas of responsibility are student achievement and the development and the evaluation of the curriculum that your students will study. Um, I'll now hand you over to Mr. Fryer. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Mark Fryer. I'm assistant principal here in charge of teaching and learning and CPD. And what that means is I, I take a great interest in the teaching here, the learning that goes on here, what, what students are up to in classrooms. And also I make sure that teachers are well equipped to educate the young people um, and give them the best education uh, that we possibly can here, everything that they deserve. I've also uh, got a very keen interest in our community our values, our ethos and our culture. Um, and I'll be talking to you a little bit later about that. Without further ado, I'll pass you on to Mr Cooper. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mr Cooper. I'm the new assistant principal here at North Gosford Academy in charge of behaviour and safeguarding. I started the school in April of this year, just when we went into uh, to lockdown. Um, I feel extremely fortunate that I work at such a fantastic school with such wonderful students and staff and to now be a part of the Seton Burn and wider community. In my day to day role, I, I look after the behaviour within school and also the, the safeguarding side of things to ensure that, that your child and the students within school are, are well looked after. My main responsibilities is looking after and overseeing our pastoral team, which consists of five heads of year with one dedicated head of year seven who looks after transition each and every single year and also looks after the year seven students before they progress into year eight. I also oversee our pastoral lead teacher who is a senior dedicated teacher to all students both lower and upper school here at North Gosford. One of my other key roles is to coordinate and oversee all of the external agencies that work with our students here at North Gosford. 
naturally myself and my team work very, very closely with all departments across the school. But one of the key departments that we work with is our SEN department. We work extremely closely together to ensure that our students well-being, their academic progress are is exactly how we should be expecting from, from them here at North Gosford. Um, and I would like to introduce to you now our actual school centre, which is Miss Linda. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alexis Linda. I'm the school Senko. I've been here since 2011. Uh, my role is on a day to day basis to oversee all support that students receive both in class and as part of interventions. I coordinate all of the agencies that come in to work with our students on things like dyslexia, on language and communication, and also liaise with agencies such as CAMS and SIPS. Um, on a day to day basis, that, that's my main role, but I also oversee transition um, and I've done that for eight years now. And it's wonderful working with all year six students and parents. This year we've got Miss Ritchie, who is our head of year seven in transition. So I'll pass you on to her. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Ritchie and I'm head of year seven. I'm brand new to the role this year, but have worked in pastoral for a couple of years now. Um, but this year, a really exciting new role and completely dedicated to year seven. Um, previous to this, um, I was in fact a primary school teacher. So parents and students, I completely understand some of the worries that you might have with coming up from primary to secondary. Um, but I also know how exciting it can be and I understand completely how important it is for you to make the right choice um, in coming to, to high school. I think one of the most important parts of my roles and one of the, the parts that I enjoy the most is being part of transition. And I think that something that makes us completely unique here at North Gosford Academy is the fact that during our transition programme later on in the year, I become primarily based in the primary schools. So that's where I will be working. So parents, you will see me out and about in school and students, you will meet me and get to know me completely before you come up to us in September. Um, so thank you for tuning in and I'm really looking forward to hopefully seeing you all really soon. Right, thank you. So that's some of the key players uh, at the school, especially ones that you will uh, meet and, and get to know uh, in year seven, especially. Right, it's time for me to now go on to the main part of the presentation. And this is really to uh, talk about the ethos of the school and to talk about how you make that important choice. Now, some of you will know that, uh, know the school well, uh, some of you may be coming and visited, but some of you may be outside the catchment area completely and it might be the first time you're finding anything about, about the school. So it's important that you take the opportunity to know uh, what we're about. So we're really, we offer a high quality education in a safe, small caring environment. It's, it's We've only got about 530 students, so we are a small school. The benefit of that, of course, is that we tend to know uh, all of the students uh, very well. So as head teacher, I obviously don't teach all the students, but walking on the corridors, it's quite easy to get to know pupils and, and, and develop a, a relationship with them. I think one of the big changes, though, because it's a different school than what we were, say, five years ago, I think over the last few years, we've definitely developed really high expectations of ourselves and our uh, pupils, uh, especially high expectations of behaviour and high expectations of achievement, you know, really push uh, our expectations. We've got excellent pastoral care and support. We pride ourselves on that. And I think that's because coming from that uh, small school, we also find out that we've got a, an exciting curriculum, different to, to what a lot of schools offer. And we have a large focus on enrichment activities to engage and uh, help develop students. So uh, we we often feel that we, we do offer a different, uh, well, it's a different offer to a lot of other schools. And my own personal philosophy of uh, education, it's not just about filling a bucket, it's not just filling up with, with knowledge. It's about lighting a fire and you can tell that with students. Students who you can hook and get an interest in the subject, uh, then they enjoy learning and it, it takes care of itself. So that's really important. Well, uh, Mr Fry will talk about the, our rich ethos in a bit, but the curiosity is really, really important. Uh, and 
you sort of get the feel of that when you visit the school. And I'll, I've said this before, but visitors around the school are consistently impressed with how well the students work and lesson and how calm it feels. So I would I'll reiterate again, I'd love to show you around. So I'm gutted that I haven't got the opportunity to show you uh, to show you the school in person. And, and I'm just speaking to you on, online. So talk a bit about results as well. So over the last three years, we have significantly improved the results uh, uh, that, that we have. Uh, we know this year the results came from teacher uh, predictions, but if you take th those results out, you can still see that the, the steady increase. But our results that we uh, submitted were modified and standardised across the, the mat of schools that we have, and we, it was a real serious process uh, full of integrity. So you can see, for example, uh, for grade fours in English, we had up to 87% of students getting a pass in English, 61% to 62% getting a grade five in English, 7% pass in maths, 48% getting a grade uh, five in maths. And again, you can see our science results steadily improve, improving over years. Uh, and that's been recognised by the, the authority and it's it puts us in a really good stead. We've got some amazing success stories. We've got uh, eight students achieving at least one grade nine, which is exceptional national performance uh, grade. One of those students achieved seven grade nines. And we always have students every year who do that. Some students who really excel and, and smash the results. I'm really proud of that. 10% of all year 11 students last year achieved an, an average grade seven or better across all of the subjects, which is uh, phenomenal. Now, normally on results day, because we like celebrating success of our students, this results day we couldn't because we couldn't group people together, so we had to do it individually. We're still welcoming it into school, but it was a bit different. But I'd have loved for you to see that uh, moment when students were getting results, seeing next steps, being able to go on to Sixth Form College, uh, to go on to Gosforth Sixth Form. Uh, it was just, uh, it, was, it was a happy day. It was a happy day. And that's, that's, that's really important, enjoying success. Uh, I'd also like to talk to you about the other side because it's not all about exams. Now, I'd hate to work in just an exams factory because it's more about developing the person, isn't it? You want to develop youngsters to fulfil their potential. And we do that in lots of different ways. Mark uh, Fry will talk about the rich ethos again later, but we've introduced enhancement because we want to develop the, uh, develop skills that they're not used to, uh, introduce them to activities that are completely alien to them. So uh, once a fortnight, we have an afternoon set aside in year seven and eight to learn new things. It might be learning to play chess, it might be joining the choir to specific uh, song focus, the North Gossip Bake Off, where they're uh, competing to make dishes in a, in a time limit. It could be uh, the gymnastics, it could be uh, the art club. We have lots of different dance and gymnastics, fitness clubs going on. Fitness is important. My favourite, and of course, it's my favourite because I led it, uh, is uh, golf enhancement. So introducing students to a new game which they don't often come across in school. And that's uh, taking students to Parklands there to get the lessons off a professional. Uh, that's one of our students doing tai, tai Chi there on the photo. That links nicely into another investment we've made in recent years over trips. We want students to experience different cultures and just have different experiences. So we have trips that go to uh, Paris, to Berlin, to Barcelona, to High Borens. We have a London trip every year. Unfortunately, these trips didn't happen last year, uh, obviously because of COVID. But we have a trip to China that normally happens every year. You know, real, real amazing experiences which have opened the eyes uh, to some of our students and just uh, been a great experience for them. So uh, that's it for me, actually. I'll come back and speak to you later, but I wanted to uh, pass over to Mr Fry, who can speak uh, more about the ethos that I've introduced in the last couple of years. Thank you. Thanks, Mr Campbell. Mr Campbell's talked a lot there about success, uh, and I want to talk to you about success now, and I, I suppose if we were thinking about why our school is on such a great upward trajectory, uh, results are getting better, behaviours brilliant, um, staff are happy. I think it's about successful community. All successful communities are built on foundations and what you have in front of you there is the foundation for our successful community. And that is that we have a strong ethos, a strong value system, 
and a powerful culture that we've decided to teach explicitly to kids. We want to exemplify those values. We want to show those values to students. We want to get them to practice them um, and we want them to use them as a roadmap to success and to see themselves as part of a successful community. I think that's how it's happened. Um, the first of those things um, is resilience. Um, and by resilience, we mean having the ability to bounce back. And Mr Campbell mentioned again, he's not just talking, we're not just talking about the classroom, we're not just talking about exam results, we're talking about the world, we're talking about life, we're talking about family, relationships. And we have a case study, don't we? A, a recent case study where we've all had to be resilient and are continuing to have to be resilient. To, to, to use difficult situations as an opportunity to do special things. Uh, we teach our kids that here. Um, we talk a lot about industry and that, that for me is a really old fashioned one actually. Just getting stuck in and having a passion for working hard and not being afraid to work hard and be bored sometimes in lessons. Uh, and you know, and really, really knuckle down and do things that you find difficult. Uh, in life, in relationships, um, that's important. In the classroom, in the exam hall, it's equally important. Thirdly, we talk about curiosity. And so many adults lose that talent to be curious about the world. And we don't want our students to, to lose it. We want them to foster it here, to enjoy it, to see the joy in the world and all of the learning they've got in front of them. Curiosity is something we foster here too. Um, and last but not least, and probably in terms of foundation, the most important one, and that is again quite old fashioned, the idea of being honourable, to be good and kind to other people, to treat others with respect, to treat yourself with respect, and to exemplify those things and be positive about those things. Show the, show the world that you are the sort of person that does good things for other people. And I think, you know, you spend 10 minutes scrolling through social media and I think you'll agree uh, a school that exemplifies those values and that, that creates a powerful narrative about those values. I think that's a really special thing. And so that is our that's our ethos. That's our culture. Um, and they're the foundations for our community. And it's a really special community. Um, on the screen there, you can see some of the things that go on in form time to allow students to, to practice those skills, to do difficult things that that they need to do again and again and again to get right. Um, and we make sure that we celebrate even the smallest little thing. Today, uh, a year seven held the door open for me and I went straight to my desk and I recommended that student for an award. And I, I know that sounds that might sound over the top to some people, but for me, it's not. It, we, we have to make sure that we recognise and celebrate all of those really, really special, tiny little acts of kindness in a day. It makes a difference and it's what makes the community work and it's what makes the community successful. That's our rich ethos and it's really special to us here. The students will talk about, uh, about, about it um, later to you as well. Um, the final thing I want to talk about is um, a, a new thing this year. And it, and it helped us out a lot in lockdown, actually. And it's our dedicated virtual learning environment. And it, it's called Frog. Uh, and all it is, is, is a virtual school. Uh, and it's for home learning, it's for revision, homework. It's been really, really useful for year 10 and year 11, all year groups really, but particularly year 10s and year 11s who are worried about the exams. It's a one-stop shop for everything they have and need in school. The timetable, weekly events, quizzes, uh, student emails, which means they can contact staff where appropriate and staff can contact them back. It's round the clock access to student school folders. Everything that the students need to do well at home is there for them. Um, we also run uh, homework clubs at school to make sure that all students can access that provision. It's a really, really special one. Uh, and it's a really easy way as well for parents to keep a track of homework assignments and work that students are doing. I also just thought I'd share with you to finish the frog learning feedback. So on screen there, you have one of my year 11s, some homework she did and my feedback for her. And she, she did that work at home. I marked it at home and she received that feedback. And in fact, I was talking to her about that today. I haven't 
I haven't taught her since I, since um, she handed that in and yet she's had feedback from me on her learning. So that's a really, really powerful new tool that we have here. Um, I'm going to pass you on to Miss Tully now to talk to you about curriculum. Thank you, Mr. Fryer. Um, so I wanted to talk to you first of all about um, some of the things that are specific to year seven, because um, over the last two years, we've had a renewed focus on year seven. And this is really to ensure that uh, there's a seamless transition from primary school and that the students um, have a first class start to their secondary education. Um, so we start this in primary, as Miss Ritchie mentioned, with a strong transition programme. Um, this is carefully planned to lead into an exciting and well sequenced year seven curriculum that staff have worked hard on and that has the rich ethos at its heart. Um, the tutorial programme provides excellent personal, social and health education, which again is structured around the rich ethos. So that pervades everything that we that we have worked on over the last two years. Uh, we've done a lot to promote um, oracy in year seven, participating in the oracy project. Um, this is a national scheme designed to develop um, really good and strong communication skills, the ones that are crucial for success in education and beyond. Um, we also looked at improving social times for the younger students. So we we've completely we have completely separate social times now for lower and upper school. This means that at lunchtime, for example, year seven um, come in for lunch first before anybody else, and they have the refectory all to themselves um, while they're eating, as well as their own social area to go to once they have eaten. Um, we've invested in sporting equipment such as outdoor um, tennis tables and table tennis equipment, uh, basketballs and footballs exclusively for social use. Um, the year seven, now moving on to the curriculum, which is my area, um, the year seven curriculum has also been improved significantly um, to build more explicitly on key stage two knowledge and skills and give students an engaging but challenging start to their secondary education. And I'm really, really proud of what we've done with this. Um, of course, it's broad and balanced, as you would expect, with the range of subjects that, that, that um, are offered in most secondary schools at Key Stage 3, and it prepares students very well for the rigours of Key Stage 4. Um, however, within departments, staff have planned um, exciting cross-curricular projects um, to better coordinate learning and skills development across subjects, whilst really enthusing the students in a deeper learning experience. Um, one example of this is that history, geography and English have worked hard together um, and they deliver a project um, about Newcastle and the surrounding re region, which culminates in a cultural visit to Newcastle in the autumn term for all year seven students. And that's that goes down very well. Um, in addition, we have some very unique elements to uh, our curriculum here at North Gosforth. Um, students have the opportunity to study Chinese as well as a European language. Now, very few schools in the country can offer this, so we are delighted that it's going so well here. We've just had our first set of GCSE results in Chinese and our students really, really excelled, performed very, very well. Um, we offer discrete literacy and numeracy lessons for those in um, year seven and eight for those students who need a boost in those skills. Um, other subjects that students may opt for further up the school include environmental science in our fabulous nature reserve, which is an incredibly incredible facility that other schools simply don't have. Um, and the hair and beauty in our equally amazing salon. So these things are unique to our school. Uh, we benefit hugely from strong partnerships with other org organisations to enhance our curriculum further. For example, we have strong links with the, all the Northeast universities, um, arranging visits there, um, curriculum experiences and careers events. Um, also, the NUFC Foundation, um, they deliver a comprehensive program of study support, careers, um, programs and skills development. 
and this has been really, really popular with the students and it's been so beneficial um, to us. We feel that this year we've expanded the programme and have now employed a member of their team full time at North Gosforth. Um, this also supports our rewards provision with stadium tours, occasional match tickets and merchandise, etc. Um, so for me to finish, I would just urge you all to please visit our website for details of each subject offered in the curriculum. And I would like to repeat Mr Campbell's offer of a tour of the school um, as there is absolutely nothing better than seeing us in action. I look forward to seeing you. Uh, thank you very much. I'm now going to hand you over to Miss Lindner. Good evening again. Um, as Mr Campbell mentioned, we are a small caring school who know our students both academically and pastorally. This care and attention actually starts with our strong transition programme as mentioned by Mrs Tully which ensures your child feels part of the North Gosforth family and community from day one. As part of this, we work closely with our primary schools to ensure friendship groups are shared as well as assessment data and ensure that this information gathering goes on throughout the year, not just before they join. A key person in all of this will be Miss Ritchie, who will take part in discussions and meetings at your child's home school and get to know your child before they come into North Gosforth. As part of my role as SENCO, I also ensure that any support needed by your child is identified and in place. This starts with conversations with the school SENCOs in your child's primary school and it also involves me coming in and being part of any meetings including EHCP annual reviews and ensuring that any collaboration between professional agencies takes place from the day that your child comes into our school. Now one of the best things about our transition programme are our transition days. Um, our transition days are very popular and successful. They take place in the last week of term in the summer and they take over place over three days. The main part of that is obviously getting to know the school but as part of that it's getting to know the way around school, it's getting to know the staff, it's also getting to know other students and knowing what we offer at the school so making sure that we you know offer le the lessons that the children will study when they come here and also allow them to explore the school site through using the nature reserve and the wonderful facilities that we have. As part of that we also offer transition for yourselves as parents and carers and that's including a coffee morning on the first day in so you get to share that journey with your child and also a performance on the last day where your child can actually share with you what they have been doing over the last few days. This is always popular and it's always a joyous event that I love taking part in every year. If you have any questions about transition, these can be directed through the transition email address. But if you have any questions to do with special educational needs, please get in touch. Um, my door is always open and I look forward to hearing from you. I'll pass you back to Mr Campbell now. Thank you. But you'll be pleased to know that you won't be listening to me now because this is the time uh, we'll be listening to our wonderful students. So it's a uh, absolute pleasure to introduce uh, three of our students. So first will be Yamila, followed by Anna and then Joe to finish. Good evening everyone, I'm Yamila in year nine and tonight I will be informing you about the rich ethos as well as the price guide rewards at North Gosford Academy. So let me introduce you to our rich ethos. The aim at North Gosford Academy is to encourage high expectations and high standards of uh, achievement, both academic and personal. The school's values embrace honesty, trust, reliability, respect, regard for the environment, and then lastly, kindness towards other people. Being rich doesn't always mean to have lots of money, drive expensive cars, live in mansions or live a wealthy life. Instead, it can mean to be re re uh, resilient, industrious, curious or honourable. And that is what North Gosforth Academy wants their students to be. Secondly, I would like to talk about the praise code rewards at our school. 
In my opinion, our school has a great rewarding system for students that are on time, on task and on site. Each week, students will, or each lesson, I mean, each uh, students will be receiving stamps, which at the end of the week be counted up and handed in. As well as praise, praise certificates for every 400 stamps and then end of term rewards for students that achieved 400 stamps in a term and as well attended school regularly. Another great reward to work hard for uh, at our school is the half term in Newcastle United Foundation raffle draw. Each half term you can earn up to five tickets for the NEFC prize draw for each of the following. Your attendance is 96% each term. You have 100% punctuality and haven't been late. You haven't had a detention. And then lastly, your form tutor nominates you for being rich. The prizes can be trips out, for example, bowling, ice skating, wall climbing, a chance to be a ball boy, ball girl, or a mascot at an NEFC match, stadium tours at St. James's Park, match tickets to NEFC matches, and then and much more. This encourage each and every student to work hard, be rich and give their best. Thank you. Hello, my name is Anna and I'm in year 10. I'll be speaking to you about my favourite subjects and GCSE options. We choose our options in year 8, but most schools choose their subjects in year 9. Our school chooses our options a year early to give students more time to prepare for their GCSEs. We do what a one year course, which is a qualification equivalent to a GCSE. These include business, finance, travel and tourism and the John Muir Award. When I chose my options, I chose to do the John Muir Award and we use one of our facilities, the Nature Reserve. The John Muir Award is a unique award that is recognised throughout the country. I also enjoy maths because the homework can be easily accessed on a website called Hegarty Maths. Hegarty Maths is a video, has a video which talks you through the steps on how to do your tasks. I also enjoy NCFA PA. It is a form of PA which includes theory and practical work. Our PA facilities include our sports hall, gym, fitness suite, multi-use games area and our field. Following on from Umelia, even subjects that students don't particularly like are still encouraged by the praise code and resilient ethos to try their best for well earned rewards. Hello, my name is John. Tonight I'm going to talk to you about homeschool learning. Over the course of the last few months, North Castle Academy has implemented a homeschool learning system called Frog. Frog is really easy to access and it also allows parents to keep tabs on homeworks and quizzes that have been set. Frog is also a great way to ask teachers and and more and ask for more help, more work. As Anna referred to, North Coastal Academy also uses a system called Hegi Maths. Hegi Maths allows students to improve math skills. It also keeps a track of percentages on tasks and rounds them up at the end of the week. Homeschool learning is very important for students. Recently, but in particular, in light of the recent lockdown, the school is making sure students can work effectively at home and at school. On, half, on behalf of the students of North Coastal Academy, we can't wait to see you soon. Thank you for your time. Can I just say a huge thank you to our students? I tell you what, it's hard enough for experienced teachers to do a live broadcast, but for students to do it is something else. And I'm sure if you hear you to give them a loud uh, round of applause, but of course, it'd be pretty silly doing that uh, in front of a, a screen at home. So uh, thank you for spending uh, time with us this evening. Uh, just to finish off, I'd just like to make a few last points. Feel free to make an appointment to come look round so you can ask some further questions, get a feel for the place. We've got our lovely prospectus, which is out and gives you more information about all our school and takes you through different aspects of it in a bit more detail than uh, what we've been able to do this evening. You can, uh, the prospectus will be delivered to our feeder primary schools, but also if you if you want, if you live outside the catchment area, please email the address that's on the screen now, transition at northgosseth.co.uk and we'll make sure we, we mail one out to you. Uh, you can use that email address as well to ask uh, any specific questions. And if anyone has missed this event, uh, 
it's been recorded, so we'll put this on the website. So if you have any friends who were saying they, they missed it, uh, it'll be on the website in the next couple of days. They can watch it at, at, at their leisure. And keep an eye out for subject specific videos. So over the next few weeks, we're going to put uh, videos in different subjects so students can uh, click on and find out a bit more about the, all the subjects that uh, they'll experience in year seven. So thank you for attending this uh, live event. Good night and hopefully I'll see lots of uh, the year sixes in our school next year. OK, thank you. Goodbye.